get your mind to gather right here. So when the mind is gathered together, that it has strength. Otherwise, it's little bits and pieces scattered around. And each of those little bits and pieces on its own is not very strong. But when you get them all together, they support one another. Your thinking is right here. Your perceptions are right here. Your feelings are right here. Your awareness is focused right here. You can gain a sense of wholeness because you've got one object. You've got the breath coming in, breath going out. You just try to maintain that because it's healing for the body and healing for the mind. The mind gets wounded all the time. The Buddha's image is of someone being shot by arrows. The fact that we have our senses exposing us to all kinds of things coming in from outside, that's bad enough. That it's this constant barrage of input. But then on top of that, all the things that we get on our screens, everything is designed to get you upset, worked up. You've got to get yourself worked down. Calm yourself down. Not so that you don't care about things, but simply so that your strength is not wasted by other people's concerns. Because you've got one big issue that you're responsible for, and that's the fact that you're creating suffering. Even though your intention is to create happiness, still you create suffering, and you want to know why. And it's because part of the mind is hidden from itself, and when the mind is scattered out, various places, and it's easy for greed, aversion, and delusion to stay hidden. But when everything is gathered together here, then all the different parts of the mind can see one another. It's like that image they have of the day the Buddha went up to the Dawadings of Heaven to teach his mother, and that day he came down. There was a brief moment where all the different levels of the universe could see one another. The beings of hell could see, well, this place just isn't just hell. Human beings can see, oh, there are heavens and there are hells. And when you get the whole picture like that, then you can act a lot more skillfully. Because you understand some of the broader implications of what you're doing and saying and thinking. So try to keep your mind gathered in one as much as you can, not only while you're sitting here with your eyes closed, but as you go through the day. You may have other responsibilities, but approach those responsibilities from this point. Where it's gathered together as much as you can. Because it's not the case as you go through the day that you can think only about what you're doing. You're already thinking about all kinds of things. Well, drop those. Everything that's extraneous. And whatever parts of the mind don't need to be focused on your particular task, you keep them right here. That way, as you come to the day, you come from a position of strength. And the mind isn't quite so wounded as it has been on in the past.